I don't want a numpad. Get that numpad out of here. What's up guys, I'm Em. Today we're reviewing the Razer Huntsman Mini. Razer very kindly sent this over to me a couple of weeks ago and I've been using it ever since in the setup. You can see it just there. And I've got like a custom LED color scheme set up for it. It's been an experience using this keyboard because this is a 60% keyboard. And if you don't know what that means, well basically imagine you like take away the numpad, then you also take away the entire row of function keys, the home cluster, you know, with like scroll lock, print screen, buttons that I personally use um, and then you also get rid of the arrow keys as well. You're left with the Huntsman Mini uh, but luckily this is genuinely like a top-notch keyboard for gaming especially because I played a decent amount of Counter-Strike, bit of Battlefield 5 with this thing and genuinely top-notch gaming experience mainly thanks to of course the Razer Red switches that are inside here. This keyboard is available with two switches. The Razer Purples which I've tried and very nice switches I'm sure if you're after like a loud typing experience, you're gonna be very happy with those. The Razer Red switches that I have inside of this keyboard offer a much more silent typing experience, but you don't miss out on any speed whatsoever. Both the red switches and the razor purples are light activated switches so they have laser beams inside of them so whenever you press them down you actually activate the switch via light instead of like a, a traditional mechanical switch with like a bunch of mechanical parts moving about in there to activate a key press these are just much faster because they use light all right it's just it's quick, they got laser beams, it's sick man. The Razer Red switches offer a more lightweight, more silent and a more responsive typing experience. That's exactly how I would describe these Razer Reds. Silent, insanely responsive, so responsive in fact that like, I'm gonna press the Windows key down, boom, and we've activated it. So you don't have to press the key all the way down to like activate it. Instead it's just like, boop, like just like a, tiny bit of movement on the keycap and it activates it so as you can probably imagine when you're gaming oh my god that is going to make a big big difference because you can just activate your your key presses a tiny fraction of a second faster than everyone else like it is going to make a very very tiny difference realistically but i mean this keyboard is very high performance in that sense like super responsive key switches I don't know how it could get faster. When you're editing videos, uh, I personally, I would like dedicated arrow keys over here. And I also want like a dedicated print screen button. You can, of course, just press FN, print screen. And uh, let me show you. Boom, we can take a print screen. Simple as that. But uh, I really would wish this was a dedicated button. And one super neat feature on Razer keyboards that have addressable RGB LEDs for each of the keycaps is that whenever you press the FN key, only the FN keys are illuminated and everything else is turned off. Super neat feature. I really do miss some of the keys that they've taken away. For example, the delete button is underneath the backspace button so you have to press FN then backspace to press the delete button and in Adobe Premiere this kind of complicates things so when editing videos using this keyboard I did run into like a couple of problems in terms of like I can't press certain keycaps anymore as easily or like as quick so it definitely slowed me down when it came to video editing when it came to Adobe Photoshop stuff it slowed me down a lot missing these keycaps and having to rely on FN then pressing buttons. Yeah, that's the only thing I didn't like. But I do actually have some good things to say about it being a 60% keyboard. So I have gone from a Huntsman Elite keyboard, which was a full size keyboard of like a volume wheel and everything and dedicated multimedia buttons. Then I switched to a 10 keyless Razer Tournament Edition Huntsman keyboard and that Tournament Edition 10 keyless keyboard was actually the best keyboard experience I've ever had mainly because it was a 10 keyless design. Ever since I went to the 10 keyless keyboard form factor, I don't want to go back. The Mini, for me at least, is a bit 
too extreme because it removes too many keys, but the Tournament Edition keyboards, I feel like, are such a perfect sweet spot in between. You miss out on the, on the numpad, but who needs a numpad anyway? Get that numpad out of here. When you get a much more compact design that, in my opinion, is much more comfortable to use, like I prefer typing on this and a smaller keyboard than I do typing on a gigantic keyboard now. It's much more comfortable and much more enjoyable for me to type on like a little compact keyboard than it is a gigantic keyboard that takes up an enormous amount of room on my desk. This to me is very comfortable and a very nice typing experience. Once again, like these Razer Red switches, whether you go for the reds or the purples, the typing experience is just phenomenal and I'm gonna continue praising Razer for the switches. In fact, I think these red ones in this one are like a v2 so they've been improved a little bit and they've even added i think softening dampers at the bottom of the switches or whatever so that when they bottom out they don't make any like bad noises so overall like the typing experience on this keyboard is like consistent it's just i love it man but i'm gonna in the end probably end up going back to a 10 keyless keyboard but nevertheless i did want to try out like a 60% form factor and see how it would be like to use. And what I've learned is that it's not for me, it's probably not for everyone, but those that like 60% keyboards, I'm sure you'd be happy with this one. Anyway, when you actually buy one of these, what do you get in the box? Well, okay, so you get a manual that says Huntsman Mini, cool. You get a very, very high quality braided thick USB type C cable right here, very nice. And then as for the stickers, because everyone loves Razer stickers, they're like RGB and everything. You get a new one this time, Razer Chroma RGB for gamers, by gamers, Razer in text. Very nice stickers, I do approve. And how you actually uh, plug the keyboard in, it's, uh, it's right here. I have a, uh, a different cable that I'm using as, luckily, Razer chose to use a non-proprietary USB Type-C port here. So you can plug in just about any USB cable into here and it's gonna work fine. If you wanna go for like a fancy cable like this one, this is from a company called Vivify. They have different colors, not just red. This isn't RGB, I'm sorry, but they do have different colors available. So if you have like a constant color scheme for your setup, hopefully you can get a uh, cool type C cable that lights up and matches the color scheme of your setup. I have a red one, but they do have, I think, green, maybe orange and blue colors as well. So check them out. Link in the description down below to the Vivify type C cable. It's very cool. And uh, yeah, link down below in the description, of course, to this Razer Huntsman Mini. Very nice keyboard. And once again, like I want to highlight the fact that it's freaking tiny, mate. It's such a tiny and lightweight keyboard, but it still does feel very high quality as this keyboard does have an aluminum chassis, which is always nice to see. And what I really love about the Huntsman keyboards, and I don't know how many Razer keyboards have this nowadays, but I hope Razer continue this trend. Look how cool that looks for gamers, by gamers, like all over the bottom of the keyboard. And by the way, it does of course come with anti-slip feet and there's even adjustment right here. So you get uh, two bits of adjustment for the keyboard height and the keyboard elevation right there. Very, very nice design. So yeah, that's it guys. That's pretty much it for the review. I've got the Razer Synapse program opened up here and I just wanna show you how easy it is to customize the LED lighting effects of your keyboard or like anything that you have from Razer, including uh, th this entire PC, of course. But over here, we can select whatever color we want for the keycaps that we select. So I can select the entire keyboard if I want, and I can just press on red, I can press save, and you're gonna see the entire keyboard set to red. What if I wanna do half of the keyboard uh, green, boom, hit save, and now half the keyboard is green. You can of course set whatever color scheme you want. Over in the keyboard tab right here, we can customize, add different profiles for the keyboard as well. I have actually one specifically made for uh, Adobe Premiere. So I've customized this to be end, I've made this to be home, this to be that key, and then I've uh, replaced backspace with the delete button because I always use delete. And as you can see, I've got end, home, delete, and I've just replaced the primary function of this key with the secondary function. So instead of me having to press FN home, I just press home because this is now home instead of the bracket keys. And you can basically reprogram any of the buttons on the keyboard to do literally anything you want. Let's say I select the escape key here. This tab will pop up on the corner. We can select multimedia, 
Uh, we can do launch a program, we can make it do text functions, Windows shortcuts like launch calculator, cut, copy, paste, show desktop, you can do full macro recordings, mouse functions, keyboard functions, numpad, you literally get everything here. Like I could go on forever there. But apart from that, if you go to the lighting tab, there's only two tabs for this keyboard, customize and lighting. Over here we have brightness control. You can of course turn the brightness down if it's like too much for you. Although this keyboard does offer beautiful RGB. Let me show you the RGB lighting. I'll press apply to all devices here. Boom, check it out dude, check out the RGB. It is absolutely beautiful, of course, with the white keycaps. The RGB shines bright and looks very vibrant, very saturated colors, as you can see everywhere else as well. Very, very nice RGB on the keyboard. Of course, the wave lighting effect is not the only one. Razer also have wheel, which looks like this. Personally, not the biggest fan of wheel. And finally, here's the reactive lighting effect but with the color red. I feel like it looks pretty cool with this red cable here. Like it's cool to match up your keyboard with like an LED cable, dude. I actually love that. But yeah, there you go, man. That is my video about the Razer Huntsman Mini. Thank you so much for watching. There'll be a link down below in the description to where you can buy this keyboard either in white or red or either in white or red, either in white or black. It's not yet available in the fully red color scheme. Maybe one day, <laughs> but at the minute, my phone is dying. Okay. My phone literally just turned off there. I'll see you guys in the next video, yeah?